Were you happy the other night uh, when, you know, everyone from your a very this is your life moment? Yeah, you're right. You're right. It did feel really like was. I felt um, it was amazing. Think- Today on the Drew Barrymore show, as he promoted Murder Mystery 2 with Jennifer Aniston, Adam Sandler revealed that getting the Mark Twain Prize for American Comedy wasn't as much of a joke as he thought it would be. I saw all the nice things everybody talked about and you guys being there, my family being there. To my family who all flew in from New Hampshire and Florida to watch me get this award. Yes, I will pay for your hotel rooms. <laughs> it was more emotional than I, I expected. It was. Right? It yeah. got you right yeah, there. Yeah, it yeah. To yeah. Some- yeah. In his acceptance speech, Sandler did deliver a few laughs but he mostly kept it sentimental. I ended up on SNL with all my buddies. Uh, every one of these, my castmates became my best friends. One of those SNL best buds was Chris Rock, and even Chris Rock kept it in the feels as he revealed how their friendship started. And then the greatest thing in the world to the guy who no one wanted to play with, Adam goes, hey, we're going over to my dorm, you wanna hang? and he's been letting me hang ever since. Another SNL alum, Dana Carvey, musically pondered what Adam and his wife Jackie might do after the ceremony. And Jackie will look at him with those eyes and say, I've never made love to a Mark Twain Prize recipient. My buddy Dallas introduces me to that woman over there. And from from that moment on, I, I just couldn't keep my eyes off her. And Adam will say, oh. It became like, oh man, it's the best reunion ever. But the tributes didn't just come from his SNL coworkers. And thank goodness, because they didn't really bring the laughs. You know who did? Adina Menzel. Grazie, grazie. <laughs> yeah, she made Sandler proud doing an ode to the upper man from SNL. Grazie, Kevin, grazie. Well, Dina almost knocked out Adam and I cut gems. You can punch me if you want. Oh, thanks. Hey, I wish you <laughs> She delivered a comedic knockout for his tribute. Neither realize it, he have to pee. He go in his pants. Just to stay on TV. I'm so grateful that our chance meeting at Jerry's Deli led us to such an incredible relationship of on screen and off. Another great thing about my very close longtime friend and collaborator, Adam. Jennifer and Drew were there, both frequent rom-com partners of Adam's, and they tried to one-up each other. One of the many films we've done together, 50 First Dates, which goes $150 million in the movie theaters. Ah. Oh, I just loved that movie when I saw it 20 years ago. But Adina cut through the mystery of their on-screen attractions. Jennifer Drew played his wife or would not get into first base in real life or making fun of me was great. I love people, you know, mocking me and stuff. That felt good. And, and, but, you know, his work, it, it just, it all, it all feels effortless. It almost seems, I mean, I don't want to say lazy because that's not the right word. And <laughs> I, I don't have a better word. So for now, let's go with lazy. Stiller and Sandler's team up in the Meyerowitz stories took a bit more effort since it balanced comedy and drama That's probably better for Ben, given his opinion of Sandler's slapsticks. Under the surface, there's just, there's just so much more to it. I mean, there has to be. Stiller Rapital, so many Jews in. Kanye switches channel to Fox News. Emmy Award and Golden Globe winner Steve Buscemi has liked loosening it up in several Sandler flicks, but he's not like Sandler tightening it up for drama. Unedited gems. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're good in it, but the whole time I was, I was watching you in it, I was thinking, stay in your lane, water boy. <laughs> right all, his anger gave us Bobby Boucher, and happy to, yeah. 
It wasn't just Adina who made me happy, so did Conan. I get it, this is a big night for Adam. It's the first award he's received where he hasn't been slimed, which is nice. <laughs> he tried to talk some comedic sense into these people. God in heaven, Kennedy Center! What have you done? No award has screwed up this badly since a MacArthur Genius Grant was given to Vin Diesel. So while Adam stayed, poignantly self-reflective for the night, I thank Adina and Conan for bringing the laughs. But if you asked yourself why so many of Adam's friends were available to speak tonight, <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because when Adam isn't working, they aren't working. Now you have the twain and in his grave will surely spin. Now he has the twain and in his grave will surely spin. So fun, like who would have thunk Adina would be the one to steal the show amongst all these comedic legends. Amazing. Adam usually is the goofy one, so it was nice to see him so, um, I don't know what, like composed? Restrained? I don't know what the appropriate word is to use. Um, now, I've said this as a sidebar before, but I'll say it again. If you haven't watched Julia Louis-Dreyfus accept this award in 2018, do yourself a favor and go watch that on YouTube right now. It is 13 minutes of comedic genius. The structure, the setups, the payoffs, the sentiment, it's the best award show acceptance speech I've ever seen. Go watch it. Sandler's was pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, what'd you think of his tribute at the Mark Twain Prize for American Comedy? My career's been tremendous. I, nothing has let me down. I do work my ass off. It's fun. Every one in this room tonight has made my life fun. 